Alright, good morning and welcome to our devotion in five minutes. We do this every Monday so that we can give you the booster shot and that you can be motivated and strengthened as you go about in your routine throughout this new week. You know, I have often been asked, what is, how do I know God's will in my life? How do I know when to move on, to quit, or to restart uh, something in uh, my ministry or my career? Well, today I hope to answer that and uh, let's look at Mark chapter 1 verses 35 to 39. And rising very early in the morning while it was still dark, Jesus departed and went to a desolate place and there he prayed. And Simon and those who were with him searched for him and they found him and said to him, everyone is looking for you oh man you can always imagine that exasperation in simon's uh, voice because jesus was doing so well in the town that he was in he healed the sick he cast out demons and he taught in the temple when well, everybody was so enthralled with him that they were all wanting a piece of him and the, his disciples were in a quandary because everybody was asking where is Jesus where is Jesus and so they were desperately looking for Jesus and that's why you know when they found Jesus he was so exasperated he said to Jesus everyone is looking for you and Jesus then said to him, Now, I want you to imagine the voice of Jesus. That is so con in contrast with that of Simon. And Jesus, Jesus then said, Let us go on to the next town that I may preach there also. And for that is why I came out. And he went throughout all Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and casting out demons. You know, when I read this, I was wondering, why would Jesus live in a, a thriving environment like this? I mean, he was doing so extremely well. And if I were Jesus and my ministry grew like, grew like Jesus, you know, I'm able to preach and people are able to come and attend that. And I'm able to cast out demons and heal the sick. I would, why would I want to leave? Now, a few things that we can learn from here. Number one, unhappiness should not be the only reason for living. Sometimes we are, we are unhappy with our job, we are unhappy with our colleagues or something bad happened, that then we take that as the will of God to live. No, that may not be it. Sometimes God plant these people in your life so that He can then learn, teach you to learn perseverance and resilience, uh, ability to overcome every challenging uh, situation in your life. Number two, success should not be the only reason for staying. Just because you're successful, that doesn't mean that it is uh, God's will for you to stay. So it's not about your environment that makes you happy or sad. It is about God's will in your life. You see, Jesus was led by his Father to leave. You see, Jesus, uh, the Bible here in the, the, the verses that we read said that Jesus rose very early in the morning while it was still dark. He departed and went to a desolate place and there he prayed. Jesus woke up very early in the morning when it was dark, it was quiet and there's no distraction from the cell phone, no one checking their Facebook and all that. You know, I have the habit of rising early too. I mean, that's the best time to hear God because no one will be texting you no there's no distraction everything is quiet and then you can hear the still small voice of God Jesus knew exactly what he was about because he prioritized time alone to pray and to listen to the Father this was a constant habit and rhythm in his life now if Jesus the Son of God have to be disciplined to pray and to seek the will of his Father what about us and so when we are in an environment where we are constantly bombarded by our stress and all these things that's going on in our lives that may not be the right time to make a decision that may not be the reason for you to quit or to stay or whatsoever we need to be quiet we need to listen and hear the voice of god hey i want to leave you with three keys to know at the will of god for you and for me Number one, know the Word of God. How do I know God? Well, we need to read the Word of God. We need to learn about God's way and all that. We also need to know the world of God, the, God, the, the world that God operates. See, God operates 
very different from the world where earthly people operate. So we need to see this world from God's view. And in order to see this world from God's perspective, we need to know the Word of God. And then we need to know the workings of God. Hey, you want to know God's will? Know the Word, know the world of God, and know the workings of God. And you know, it's not about what's going on in your environment. God's will is for you to move, you move. If it's God's will for you to stay, despite the challenging situation, stay. Uh, God says, hey, I need to move you out from Singapore to the USA, in spite of the fact that you were successful in Singapore, then you move, right? <laughs> So know the Word of God, know the world of God where there are needs out there that Jesus and God wants you and me to serve and to reach and then know the workings of God and what He does, you know, in, and what's, what He is doing right now in this season, especially during this pandemic. So it's no longer about whether your environment is nasty or you are successful in all that. It all depends on the will, will of God in your life. Jesus was led, are you led by God? Or are you led by your own emotion? Well, I want to leave you with this. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace. May this five minutes devotion strengthen you as you go about in your routine throughout the course of this week. God bless you.